everyone. Welcome to the channel. This is Aries the Emperor. Thank you all so very much for joining me this evening on this eventful day. Uh, we will be experiencing a full moon in Aries, okay? This full moon comes in with the intentions of deep inner healing, okay? Going deeper beyond the surface than you have before. All right, this is a good time to witness your fears um, and have compassion for them and also reassess balance in your life. So exactly at about 4.55, 4.56, the sun will be setting and the full moon in Aries uh, will be activated here as well as a meteor shower will be happening at the same time. So if that's not eventful, I don't know what is. I will be outside though. <laughs> if I get some good footage, you guys, I'll share it with you, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do an energy check and get some messages from Spirit. I just wanted to come back on here like I promised you guys earlier. Okay, so please take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take what does, leave what does not, place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy and energy is all fluid. All right, you guys, this is the biggest and brightest phase of the full moon, okay? It's in your sign, Aries. All right, that special Aries vibe that only you can bring to the table. So 2022 has already been written in the stars for you to be a favorable year. Um, as, as so, the next few years after this year. So let's start here. Let's start now with the inside. Work our way out to kick ass on the outside, you know. Aries is big and bold. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Aries is big and bold. Empress energy to start the reading off. Okay, you there. You are not a small fry. There is no half stepping when it comes to you, Aries. And the Empress here. This is Libra energy. We are in Libra season. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. Um, I feel like this is a time to really nurture yourself and believe in yourself. Be your star player at all times, all right? This is your game. You are calling all the shots here, all right? Nobody else, you. So you need to make sure that you are hydrated, moisturized, um, fed properly. You need to make sure you're taking care of yourself inside and out because you got a long race to run here, Aries. And this is only the beginning. Like I said, Jupiter will return to Aries in December. And when it does, it will be there, I, feel, I think, for the next few years or so. So this is monumental for you to grow, all right? If you've been looking for an open window, like this is it, especially for expansion. And this full moon, I will say, impacts everyone. But for you, Aries, and for Libra right here, you could have Libra aspect in your chart. You all are going to feel it the most, okay? Just know that. Temperance energy. I can't make this up. Thank you, spirit. Temperance energy, okay? You are a healer naturally, okay? Reassess balance in your life. Harmony. Put things in place the way you see them fit, all right? Rebuild your foundation if you have to, all right? I know sometimes you have to start from scratch, and it could be scary, um, but if that's your case, don't be afraid to. The world card, all right? Set, this is Saturn energy. Um, I feel like someone here is completing some type of cycle, some, some type of ending here um, that you have gone through. And now is the divine stepping in um, to bless you here, to reward you going forward because you have been obedient, that's why I said, I don't know why I'm getting here. Don't worry about what people have. If they have more than you, so what? You never know how any of this shit could go. And nobody but God has the last word here. So you are never out of this race, Aries. As far as I'm concerned, you're always in first place because you're always ahead of the curve. And that is like no other sign here. 
and you're the first in the zodiac so you're a leader either way it goes this is embedded inside of you okay just believe in yourself the spirit is trying to give you the world here just open up let the divine in here be yourself and also, if you're putting in too much into some of these relationships out here and you feel like you're not getting the same in return, you know what to do. The Empress is going to let that shit go. She's not going to hold on to anything that's not pouring into her or him. Okay. King of Pentacles here. And oh my God. Dun, 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 dun. The Emperor. Thank you for gracing us with your presence and confirming this reading, Aries. Um, you are in control. Like I said here, you put the boundaries up or you set your boundaries the way they need to be for you to be healthy mentally and for you to go out there and kick ass physically. Like I said in the beginning, and I see that that's what you came to do here. Balance in your masculine and your feminine energy. <sighs> Who can fuck with it? All right. You so good. They don't know how you coming. And that's how the divine wants it to be here. I see a prosperous future for you here. If you keep working hard and putting in the work, you're going to be swimming in reward here. And not only that, I feel like you're going to be responsible as well here. Like somebody is very good with money. Or you're going to know what to do. When it's your time to shine, you're going to know what to do. Get the bag. And I mean that. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles. I can't make this up at the bottom of the deck. It's coming in, Aries. It's coming in. And also, I say this too. Like, I know people are afraid to step out and start new businesses um, and leave jobs that they hate. But, I mean, come on, man. We only live on this, this earth once in the physical form. So, I urge you, if you're not happy in what you're doing, then please try and take steps to do that so you can really walk in your your passion and live in your niche and, and really feel fulfilled in this world before you leave it. Nobody deserves to go to a dead-end job day in and day out and not love what they're doing, you know? So um, let me just put that out there for somebody. Baby steps to doing the things that you love. You're the emperor, the emperor... Um, creates their own palace, their own reality. They run their own show and they damn sure don't run to anybody. You know, this is another sign, just like the high priestess lets things come to her. So does the emperor and the empress. And this is the energy that you need to be rocking here. You are full circle. Okay. Masculine and divine femme is what you are showing up here as collective. And I love it here. The sky is the limit for you. I mean that. I say that. You are the ruler of the crown chakra. Like you are a gift itself. Don't ever forget it. Three of wands here. This is Sagittarius energy. Like I said, this is expansion coming in for the emperor here. All right. So this man is looking out on the horizon you know, and dreaming up, conjuring up, getting ready for his next move to take out there in the world. That's you, Aries. Whatever you, whatever it is that you do creatively um, in a business sense, now is your time to just really put your head down. Get focused, man. Get in the bag so that you'll be set up and you'll be free to escape and, and have any financial freedom it is that you want, a free mentality, um, just peace, living in your own little world, skipping off into the distance. Come on, set yourself up to win. Whatever that is for you, whatever your peace is here on this earth, five of swords here, you could have some haters, some two-faced motherfuckers here as usual, worrying about what you got going on over there and not realizing that you are blessed and highly favored. So whatever cheap victory someone thinks that they're going to achieve over you is going to be short-lived. Okay? So just know that, cross-watcher, while you're trying to be slick and envious. You know, this is the emperor that you're coming up against. God's treasure. Okay? The emperor is here. Temperance here. So... Ten of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. 
You came to win, Aries. And like I said, the divine is going to make sure of that. Give me one more card, Spirit. I don't really need to see much more. Like, go out there and enjoy the full moon. Go see if you guys can see some stuff out there. Or see if you can see Jupiter or the different colors of the, the moon here. Eight of Pentacles. What did I say? Keep your head down. Keep working hard. Um, the haters are going to fall by the wayside, okay? Um, anybody that's sneaky or trying to come in and steal your ideas here, move with discernment, Aries, okay? Use your intuition here and look what came out, the moon card. This is all I need to see. We have Aries energy next to the moon card. You are safe underneath this moon and till eternity. I'm going to leave your reading here, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. And I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.